G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're joining me tonight, you want to watch me do a little step-by-step -step guide on how to convert this, the Boom Ducker Snaz Wagon, from all its orky goodness into this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, first step's done. It's pretty much just build the body of the car. Nice and easy, chuck the engine block on the, the body and a few other bits and pieces and get you to this stage. Nice and easy. The next part was figuring out how I'm going to make this thing look. Now I went online and I had a look at the old doom buggies that the military used to have, the US military used to have and as you can see they're pretty well stripped down and then I thought I might do the same sort of thing. So I checked out Humvees, again stripped down. So this gave me an idea of stripping down my vehicle, having it bare bones. So this helps me out a lot actually because on the side of the doors that were in here uh, was all glyphs, such as this one. Now, instead of taking all the time and effort to remove them like I did with these so they're on the side of these ones, didn't really remove them too well on that one, but instead of taking the time and effort to remove them, I figured I'll just remove the doors. And I'm going to have a stripped down doom buggy. So this one's going to be pretty bare bones. Um... I'll figure out how I'm going to do the rest of it, but I reckon something similar to that will give me a good idea. Um, I did have to remove the orc glyph that was on the front here. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the what's left of it. I really should sand it back, but I don't have any sandpaper on me. And yeah, it's not too bad. But yep. So that's that. So the next part, we be chucking the body together. I'll catch you later. Right guys, uh, so this is the next step done. Um, as you can see, I built all the frame of the bodywork under the vehicle. Um, I didn't bother putting the roof on. I just cut just cut the ends off it here so the little bracket bit cut that off now that left me with a big opening right here but luckily I had a little bit of plastic rod and so I just measured and cut a length of it and it fit in rather nicely so so far I've done sweet bugger all to it really I've removed the doors I removed this plastic screening mesh that they had in between here, as you can see on the other vehicle. So comparing it so far side to side, you've got a cut down little dune buggy. And she, I think she's going right so far. Um, yeah. Gives it a nice scout look, I think. Like these guys have trimmed back as much as they can except for the cartons of beer but um yeah they've trimmed back as much as they can to cut back on weight zip around the battlefield a little bit quicker keep ahead of orcs and whatnot that's trying to kill them um oh the only other thing i did really was remove spikes there's a fair few spikes on the vehicle and i just removed them again should sand them down or sand them back a bit but yeah that's all good now <clears throat> bit of a dilemma for me on whether or not i add the uh bull bar to the front or if i just go with a grill um i think the grill 
would suit the um, Scout look a little bit better. But um, yeah, we'll just have to see. Catch in a bit. All right, you guys. Next step was really easy. All I did was I went with the grill. So I chucked that on, chucked the wheels on, and I made a bonnet out of an ice cream container lid. I don't have plastic card, so I may do. Did what I could. Did a little bit of cutting and filling here and there, and it came out pretty well. Uh, I just chucked a shovel on the front. Um, if you ever see like a four-wheel drive sort of Land Rover or something like that, they have a couple of shovels and spare tires and whatnot and picks thrown on the front. I've also started throwing some in military gear on, so I've put some packs on. And I've read my bits box for a few other essential items. And, uh, yeah, that's the next little phase. Start making it look a little bit more military. Catch you later. All right, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with this, how it's turned out. It's come out completely unique and different from that one over there. But it's got the overall shape and feel to tie them in together. It's my Scout variant. Rather happy with it. Um, as you can see, I've just added a few things. The driver and gunner, obviously. Cut down auto cannon. Gives it the more um, vehicle mounted look. Um, also added a small carbine las gun in there. Driver, of course. Packs as usual. And um, yeah, that's about it. The one thing I will be adding to it after I paint it, um, which you won't see in this video. I'll probably make a video later showing the completed project. But one thing I will add is this it's a little scrim net i made out of a onion bag i found it at the woolly uh, supermarket took it home and i spray painted it green and a bit of brown just makes it look a bit camouflaged and gives it the look of a camo net i will chuck it in over the top like that uh, fold it in where i need to and yeah, I think that will look out rather well. Um, yeah, once it's all glued in and trimmed back where it needs to be trimmed and tightened, I think it'll look rather cool. Um, might even put a little bit more around the front here on the bonnet, um, uh, just on the rear, just folded up, uh, rolled up on the back there. Just looks like it's a bit of camo netting. But, um, yeah, I'm rather happy with that. A little close-up of the gunner. Uh, it's a Qatari head there. Gives it that rebreather look. Orc pouch there. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, tell me what you think. Um... Yeah, tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm rather happy with how it's turned out. I'll chuck in a couple of photos at the end. And, um, yeah, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.